Hey everybody, Doug Matuzak, Bow Basement, Frank Visconti Bow Evolutions on the, uh, whatchamacallit? Yo. Hey, your video camera there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what you see here is a, uh, to some of you say, boy, that's a, kind of a ratty looking, you know, Colombian rainbow boa, but she really isn't. She's old. Uh, this is Ruby, one of the few snakes that's even named down here because she was named 26 years ago. Uh, when she was born. She was born here back on January 13th of 1989 and we're just showing her. Uh, she just had her 26th birthday uh, eight days ago because today is January 21st. She deserves to be shown. Damn She's right. old. She, She's old. She, she don't need to... Uh, <laughs> well, old, old people got all sorts of bumps and stuff on her but uh, Ruby's here. She, uh, she was an amazing breeder throughout her career with her biggest litter uh, being 26 babies. So there you go, that is your normal looking Colombian old as dirt. Ruby the Colombian rainbow boa. Now we'll move right up to the projects that we're working with this year. Man, gonna have some water sloshing around. Splash, splash. So what we have in here is a I don't know if you want to call her a blue-eyed Lucy or a black-eyed Lucy because she has one blue eye and one black eye. And the uh, the male with her is what they call a het. Um, some claim it's a visual het. I mean, they look a little bit different from a normal. But uh, frankly, anything produced from a breeding with a blue-eyed or black-eyed Lucy in it, you're going to end up with 100% hets anyway. So. That's this project. Now we'll bounce over to the next one here. As we push in the old sticky boxes and they slosh around everywhere. Here is a pair of anatheristics. Uh, you see this little guy in the water bowl. He's not an anatheristic, that's an albino. I just threw him in probably an hour ago just to see if we could stimulate the male anatheristic to do anything because he appears to just want to sit around and do nothing. So we're going to leave that albino in there for a little while and whether the albino gets her or the anery gets her it's a, it's a win-win however it works. So that is a Colum an anatheristic Colombian rainbow pair in with an albino Colombian rainbow male. And we'll move down to the next shelf here. <laughs> that is. Let's see, where's that? That's the albino in the back. Yep. We're trying to put. Right on her. There you go. There you go. That's a another albino Colombian rainbow bow. That's a female. And uh, as far as I could tell from how she feels and everything, she's done. She is gravid and she actually is burrowed down and is laying right on top of the heat strip in there. That's why I was able to take the male albino Colombian out of here and put him in with the other group of anatheristics to see. We can get any activity, and uh, but this is a uh, the female albino Colombian rainbow boa that uh, appears to be gravid at this point. She has a real nice swelling, and throughout all the years I've been breeding them, once they have that swell, they're done. Now we just wait to see if we get good stuff, infertile stuff, whatever. That that's the big gamble of what we do. Whether somebody has an ultrasound or anything else, it's. Uh, none of those little tools can tell you what the end result's ever going to be. So, female albino Columbian rainbow boa. Uh, pregnant as far as I'm concerned. Yeah. Now, these guys, these, these racks are 15, 20 years old, so they're a little sticky. Here's the last project we're working on this year. And that is a the dark one is a female patternless 
Colombian rainbow boa and these animals are patternless from the moment they're born. Uh, all Colombian rainbow boas do have patterning on them as babies and they can fade as they get older but the true patternless are patternless from the moment that they are born. And she's in with the cute little guy. Uh, whether he does anything or not this year I don't know but that is a T plus albino Colombian rainbow boa. And uh, you know just uh, I'm looking forward to getting all these appearances onto these this patternless form because the patternless animal is going to choose one color basically for it to be. So you know we got anneries, we got albinos, we got we got T plus albinos and uh, we got, we got uh, some other stuff we're gonna show you in a minute that uh, is the newest addition to this whole Colombian rainbow project that I'm now moving forward with. So again the dark one in the back is cute little patternless female Colombian rainbow boa and the smaller one is a little male T plus albino. Uh, the T plus albinos are produced only by Brian Sharp at this point. So that's where that little guy came from. And we're going to pause it in a minute and come back and show you the last additions to the whole project. Crunch. Kill it. Here's the uh, additions. It took, I don't know how long it took. We were, this was in the works for our last, probably at least a good eight, ten months, getting these things here. These are the first hypo Colombian rainbow boas. Uh, they're at least being called hypo right now, uh, and there's reasons for that that things are still being worked out with what's going on here. But these uh, these guys came in all the way from Finland, not Finley, Ohio, Finland, the country, you know. And I think there's like reindeers and stuff up there. Maybe, I don't know. <laughs> Close by Santa Claus. See, these were produced by Arctic Morphs. And uh, you can see some of this guy's work over at... Uh, it's David. You can find him over on some of the rainbow uh, forms and stuff. But uh, the, these are just incredible animals. And uh, how he made these, he had a founder animal. And what he bred it to was an albino. And at first they were maybe thinking that something crazy happened, like some sort of paradigm thing. Now, uh, the, you know, that, that'll be figured out over time. But, I mean, these, these animals are just incredible, and they will just continue to get lighter and lighter through life. And what you have on the right-hand side is a little female, and on the other side is a uh, one of uh, two boys. So there, there was a little mix-up. It was supposed to be 1.2. We just found out last week it was 2.1, and frankly, I have no problem. That gives me one more boy to continue to work with. And the nice part about this, right off the bat, these are, this is a co-dominant gene. So that you know, we, we basically what we have here, what we can call them in the world of bows, we call these double hat for sun glows. A sun glow, of course, is a hypo albino. So what we have here, we have co-dominant visual hypos, 100% heft for albino. And uh, you know, obviously this will uh, work very well. We'll be able to make snows now, make snow glows, uh, patternless hypos, patternless sun glows, patternless T plus sun glows, T plus sun glows. You guys kind of get the, the gist. I mean, you add one more piece in and it's a domino effect of how many more things can be made. Uh, but here you go. These are the uh, the first ones in the country. Uh, there was two more that are here over in the uh, west side of the country. In California for sale, I believe. So if anybody's interested, give me a call. But uh, they're, they're well over five grand. So if you think they're 50 bucks, they're not. So these are Hypo Colombian Rainbow Boas. We'll let you know how they're working out in future projects, guys. Hope you enjoy. Alright. That's what happened after we turned the camera off. Doug had me putting water bowls in there on the, on the Colombians and 
I told him to use the damn lid as a, uh, as a blocker, <laughs> and the little female, didn't, uh, the one on the right, shot right <laughs> underneath it and grabbed his ass. And didn't uh, didn't work out too good for me. So, yeah. th th these these are first gen right out of the wild. The, the father's wild caught uh, hypo, and uh, I guess uh, from what I've been told, he's every bit as nuts as his kids are right now. So. It'll take a little while to breed the nuts out of them, but they're beautiful anyways. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to go wash my hands and then we'll continue. There you go.